What is up YouTube? Jack here with another Two Minute Tuesday episode and in this one we're talking about the Haas Effect. Now the Haas Effect is a really cool psychoacoustic phenomenon that allows us to take monophonic samples or mono recorded sounds and turn them into a perceived stereo recording using nothing but a delay plugin. As always, let me know in the comments what kind of video you'd like to see on the next Two Minute Tuesday. But without further ado, let's get that timer rolling and jump into Ableton. All right, so here we are inside of Ableton. And honestly, I think you're going to be really surprised how simple this is. And once I learned this tool, I found myself using it a lot. And it's one that a fair amount of people know, but I've seen quite a few guys producing or making music and they had no idea what I was talking about. So real quick, simple tip, but definitely worth remembering. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use an electric guitar straight into my preamp. I'm just going to record a short little loop in mono, and then I'm going to use the Haas effect to turn it into stereo. All right, so I went ahead and recorded a little guitar loop, and this is just an electric guitar into my preamp. Nothing else, no effects on the channel. It's in mono. I'll go ahead and listen to that now. I do recommend using a nice set of studio monitors, or at least monitoring headphones to be able to get the full effect of what we're going to be doing here. But here we go. Nothing too fancy, but definitely in mono. So the first thing you want to do then is head over to Audio Effects, Delay, and drag that onto your track. Now I'm gonna walk you through the settings that you wanna have on your delay. First thing you wanna do is turn off Link, and then disable Sync Mode on the left and right channels. Then on one of your channels, it can be either the left or the right, you wanna turn it down as low as it'll go, in our case, one millisecond. Then on the right channel, you wanna turn it down anywhere from about 27 to 38, we'll go 27, and then finally you wanna turn the feedback all the way down. Lastly, you can adjust the dry wet to taste. The more you give it, the more of a stereo feel it'll have. I like leaving it around 89. So once again, let's listen to it without the delay. And now with the Haas effect. So as you can see, with only a delay plugin, we're able to take a monophonic signal and turn it into what sounds like a stereo sound. Really cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and let YouTube know that you enjoyed this content so that YouTube recommends it to other viewers just like you. If you really, really enjoyed it, please hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so that you can stay up to date on all my future uploads. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next upload. Peace.